Uh, what's shaking, guys? We are back. This is next with Luke and Brian and Stu Stone and Flavor Flav and Omar. Oh, yeah. What's Thanks going on, us. boys? Thanks for having us. We in the building. Yeah. Thanks for being here to help welcome us and joining us on our new set with our huge canvas that Chris put together. I didn't even know he was doing this, did you? I didn't know that either, man. I had no idea, honestly. I, I didn't know what was happening here. It was, we've, been, we've been through such a whirlwind of stuff over the last two hours that we're all just exhausted. Flav's been here the whole time having a great time. All right, let me tell you something. All the way from the beginning, I ain't even know what the hell is going on. Pretty. Hey, yo, y'all got me? Y'all got me? Y'all got me? Am I on? Am I on? Hey, yo, check this out. Hey, yo, 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 we good? on? Y'all got me? Can y'all hear me? Yo, can y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me now? What, what, which one? This one? This one right here? That's right. That's right. Let me tell y'all something. If, if Flavor Flav ain't on your TV set, your TV set ain't really on. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But anyway, though, but y'all, let me tell you something, man. Tonight's, tonight's event was crazy. It was it, it was phenomenal. It was amazing. You know what I'm saying? And Chris Angel, man, that's always, you know, been a good friend of mine. And, you know, if y'all read my book, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, Flavor Flav, the icon, the memoirs. And in the back, y'all will see, I got a big shout out to my boy Chris Angel. And I don't care what nobody say, but to this day, greatest magician that ever lived. Right nice. now. And I'm dead serious about that. That's why I'm here tonight. Always support my man, Chris Angel. I don't care what nobody say. Word up, G. You got to believe. Ah, <laughs> nice. That and uh, the open <laughs> bar didn't hurt either, right? Huh? The open bar, that didn't hurt either, right? <laughs> what, the <laughs> bar? Yeah. Open oh, bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the bar was kind of open and everything, you know. But, <laughs> hey, I ain't going to lie. Actually, we closed hey, yo, it because of out. life. All I had was a drink and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. So I'm not drunk or nothing. I mean, so everything that I'm saying. Let's just right say now, his glass was as big as his keychain. <laughs> oh yeah, that's called keys to the future, G. Word up, yo, and this is my dude, my boy right here, Omar Samham. He played for the Houston Rockets. You know what I'm saying? Number fifty, pretty nifty. <laughs> so Omar, what did you think of the magic? You saw some magic today, right, bro? I know you hate Sharon. He hates giving up the mic. He hates Sharon. I forgot. I'm sorry. Nah, the magic, the magic was unbelievable today, and so much fun to see it, you know, in person and live. I mean, I know people watching at home enjoyed it, but to see it in person, you know, that much better. So, always a good show when when Chris and you guys are around. And then with the open bar with Flav, it was a memorable two hours. That's gonna keep. I got a feeling that's gonna keep going, right? What are you guys doing next? What are you doing after you leave here? You got what, 15 minutes, Flav, and you're bouncing? What are you doing? I, I got the balance, man, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I am a dad, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got a five-year-old at the crib, so, you know, That's since cool. I've been back off the road and being that I've been gone so long, when I get back off the road, you know, I give a lot of my time to him, you know what I'm saying? So when I get, get out of here, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get something to eat, though, you know, I got to go get something to eat. I might go gamble for a little bit. I like to play my... My craps, my blackjack, my roulette, you know what I'm saying? Some baccarat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to have the baccarat, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, then head to the crib, man, and go chill with my son. And if people come to Vegas and they want to go to your chicken restaurant, where? Oh, yeah, that's Tell right. That that's now. right. Flavor Flav's House of Flavor. 3333 yeah, South yeah. Maryland Parkway. Take out restaurant only, but let me tell you something, G. The chicken is good all the way down to the bone leaf. You know what I mean? <laughs> Word up, G. That's how we get it in. Word up. Collard greens, macaroni and cheese, potato salad, cold slaw, french fries, sweet potato fries, red velvet waffles. Okay, so the food is good. We well, got oh, yeah, that's now, right. Man. What kind There's of diet no is that? There Come on, you know, you know I had to get that in. And let me tell you something. The only one that was ever scared to challenge me in a chicken eating contest uh -oh, was Chris uh -oh. Angel. That's right, Chris. You were scared. Oh, that's the one with the red light. That's the one I'm talking to. <laughs> that's hey, the yo, one talking yo, to. Yo, yes. Chris, you were scared. And look, I want a rematch. Because you know what? I had to battle this guy. Hey, by the way, uh, battling Flavor Flavor Flav in a chicken eating contest. <laughs> hey, and guess what, though? I feel <laughs> good because I won. Ah, you did. You I did got win. you, G. You did. Hey, yo, but it was a good one, though. That and I ain't going to lie to chicken. I could have used a little bit more salt. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry stew. <laughs> yeah. What a crazy experience it was. Of course, we had lots of prizes, grand prize winners. 
how do you guys stay in business giving away all this free shit? Well, you know, the nice thing about Magic Place and about the business model that, that Chris has put together is it's a long-term vision. So it's in the magic industry, a lot of the dealers are either mom and pop, um, you know, they're working with two or three employees and they're real small companies and it's, it's very difficult for them to plan out a five or ten year plan and what Chris is trying to do I think is is bring magic to the mainstream as well as bring a whole new level of magic to the magic community and the plan he has behind that is is projected out over years so we're not looking to to get rich this month this year five years from I mean that's 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 not the idea behind this it's more about changing the way magic works in general that's my opinion but of course Luke is Honestly, the best magician I know, and wow. and you know, is really, really deeply uh, connected with the magic community. What do you think, Luke? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think we're just we're trying to do the right thing. We're trying to take magic and and you know, breathe some new life into it in the way that it's sold and the way that people see it and, and get to experience because we know that not everyone uh, is able to be around other magicians. This is kind of our way to connect people together. And uh, you know, the other really cool thing is. The world's all about, di you know, it's the digital form, connecting with each other via the Internet, on their cell phones, and that's what we're trying to do with Magic is we're trying to connect everyone uh, digitally, and we're hoping that uh, the vision that we have is the vision that you guys uh, will be uh, seeing with us as we go forward, which we're not in it for the short term. That's the, that's the damn truth. Hey, yo, Luke, check this out, man. I just want to say whatever you guys are doing with Magic, y'all have definitely connected Flavor Flav. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Oh, absolutely. Man, absolutely. And the reason why I say that is because I've always been a big fan of magic since I was a little kid. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the things that I seen Chris Angel do right before my eyes, like the first time that I ever met him, you know, he bent a fork, the tip of the fork with his eyes. You know what <laughs> nice. I'm saying? Nice. And I could not bend the tip of that fork back to its originality, oh, wow. which wow. was crazy and which was amazing, you know what I'm saying? But I always loved magic, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, Chris, man, I mean, he's, he's right now at the top of his game and everything and love his show. I got to come see you. <laughs> I want to come see you do your thing. I want to come see you do your thing because uh -oh. I know you got it good. I know uh -oh. you got it going on, son. <laughs> MagicPlace.com, the official home of Luke Dancy. <laughs> I got, yeah, I want to go <laughs> see my dude. House. Word. And not only that, but Thank then you. also, Thank which was big to me tonight, which was huge, I met Lance Burton, man. Lance I'm like, is yeah, amazing. Yeah. Legend. Yeah. yeah. Lance is great. Wow. Definitely. He's a legend. Yeah, he's a legend. And, and I went to his show one time, and I think it was like about maybe okay. four well, or five of, years ago when I first moved to Vegas. Right, right, And right. his show was amazing, Oh, man. absolutely. A living, so, a living legend. So though. for me to be around you guys, even though I do rap music, I know I'm a legend, I know I'm an icon, but to be around you guys that razzle dazzle the crowd that make me go ooh ah yo <laughs> did you cool, see man. that you know what i'm saying luke That's awesome man yo this is amazing for but me you know to, when it goes be, both ways, to be here on the a camera you, with man. you son i'm on the camera with luke man what <laughs> you know Flav, it's funny i first I, I went to the chat room and i asked them if they have any questions for you since we have you here and we only have you for a few more minutes yeah so yeah let's see what they come back with but i do have to tell you i remember seeing you on mind freak and thinking Really? Is he that impressed by magic? Then, when we were partying at Chris's house that day, and I saw you face to face when Mark Calabrese yeah. and everybody was doing the and when Chris did that trick for you, no doubt, no and doubt. And I heard the yeah. wow, yeah. Yeah. hey yo, oh hey yo, real, it was great. And you, you know, know I'm not bugging. I had a black card in my hand, a black card in my hand. Chris told me to turn the card over. I turned the card over in my hand, and then he said, turn it back over again, and the card was red. Get the why, why, Omar? Oh, I'm bugging. How the fuck did he do that? <laughs> How the twist did he okay. do that? Okay, so, so you can answer because you're not a magician. We'll give you a microphone. What's your what, what's your response? Uh, well, it's two things. First, magic is real, and then second off, <laughs> Chris is Chris is unbelievable. But the best thing is the first time I ever saw Chris, Flav was like, you know, come to my guy Chris's show with me tonight. So I I I didn't really know much about him. I checked it out, and every time Chris would do a trick. Flay would just be like, wow, how do you do that? <laughs> so I'm thinking it was the first time Flay saw the show, but then I found out he saw it like seven times. He's just really impressed every time still. 17. 17. 
That's that's great. Thanks, Omar. And we're going to take um, – we have a question or a request, actually, in the chat room, which we're going to take quick, and then I'm going to hand it over to Luke because I think he wants to pull some other people. Well, yeah, I mean, also – yeah, I mean, we'll go ahead and bring uh, Fielding Weston. He's another one of the magicians that was here tonight because we are talking about magic and, 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 and seeing all the different people. Let's bring in Fielding West right now. Here he comes. Yeah. You might recognize Mr. West from the uh, – you, you, you might recognize him from the uh, the strip poker match. I see they cleaned all the I see they cleaned all the blood off of you and and the shredded clothing. Oh God, it's such a hard life, isn't it? It really is. It was it actually really a lot of harder. Well, we can't understand why every kid in the world doesn't want to get into magic, right? <laughs> well, we know we have one big kid over here that loves magic, Absolutely. as well as two. So, that's my neighbor right there. Really? That's my Literally. neighbor, he said. He's in our grocery store all the time. And I try not to bug him when he's shopping. I go, awesome. I go hi. Well, now you guys can bond in the dairy Vegas section. Vegas is a small town, man. So, small town. So, hey, so, Flav, so Flav there's, there's a couple requests in here, which is, you know, you, you can or cannot do it, whatever you want to do. People are asking you to do just a real quick, off, you know, improv rap about magic. You got anything you can do? Yeah, he does. he does. Hey, right off the top of the head, I don't even know what I said. Let me tell you something. It won't be tragic, but I can talk about magic. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something. It's the best thing that I've ever seen right here from the top of the bling. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't playing. It's all in the message that I'm relaying. And right here at the Chris Angel Show is where I'm staying. Yeah. So that's right. If y'all don't like it, then get on your knees and start praying. Because that's right. That's the message that I'm relaying. Yeah, yeah. That wow. was awesome. That was good. It was good. I'm it sorry. Was you know what? I have, I have one thing to say, Flav. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. One question. One question. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, but the flo it flowed well. Thank you That'd very much. I, I have a question for Flav of Flav, actually. Okay. Uh, uh, next, uh, at the next Loyal Saturday, I'm debuting a brand new show. It's a talent competition where people are going to come from all over the country to compete for a chance to open for Chris Angel. I'm looking for some judges. Flav, I don't know if you're around, but you know maybe you'd like to be well, a part of it. Check this out. If I'm around, then I can be found. But hey, if I ain't around, then you just got to get another sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I love this guy. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, I love it, man. That's so, so awesome. Luke, what do you think, man? I know you were, out, you were on stage. You were on the floor. You were running around the place all day. You did an awesome job. I was very Thank impressed. You. Thank you. Um, so what do you think, man? What was the best part of the show today for you? You know, the fact that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, it's honestly, though, the fact that we made it through uh, one continuous feed. We were worried that we had so many people watching that we may lose the feed. Uh, but we kept the feed going. And, uh, yeah. He just rhymed. He just rhymed. You don't rhyme. even You're know. You're rubbing off rhyme. on you me, yo, 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 you a poet and don't even know it. <laughs> and in your feed are a couple of Longfellows. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. And the most amazing thing here today is not only the people that came down here to support our friend Chris Angel, but the fact that this whole thing was put. I got a phone call. Somebody asked me this. Somebody texted me that. I walk in the room. What's going on? Well, we'll tell you in just a minute. And, <laughs> and two hours later, this thing comes out. I hope it looks as good as it felt. That's all I can say. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Can't agree more. Can't agree more. You know why? Because we're here along with my boy Chris. Absolutely. That's one of the nice things I think about Chris is he's always been able to connect mainstream and magic. Um, and, and he's kind of opened some doors and, and really presented some windows to see through Listen, for non-magicians. I got to say this, too. It's, Chris has taken a lot of heat over the years. And I just say this as, as a comedy magician. I say that Chris has taken a lot of heat. And I sat back in the back and watched this. And Lance and I is a very close friend of mine. talk about this all the time. But, but the main thing and the main but about this is, is that his heart is bigger than anything anyone can say about him. And all you got to do is just let him flourish a little bit. He came out on his own. When he flourished, then guess what? The world loves him now, and they will always love him. Hey, yo, let me Absolutely. tell you something. I mean, he's so incredible. Not only did he take, not only have he been taking heat, but he's so amazing. Come on, man. He could take the weight of a steamroller. Come oh, on, yeah, yeah, here, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell you something. Chris Angel is amazing, and his heart is, is better than gold. Better than gold. Better. Now, now, Omar, Omar, you, you're the quiet one over there. We know that you're a basketball player. Look who I'm sitting next to. Yeah. I can't talk. <laughs> you play for the Houston Rockets. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Get it in, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. So, what you got for me? out of all the things, we, we've heard Flav talk about a lot of his favorite things he's seen Chris do. What's one of your favorite things that you've seen Chris do, whether it's the live show or from Mind Free? What's one of your favorite things? Uh, I'm biased because growing up, I, I actually love Magic too, like Flav. Growing up, I was a big uh, Harry Houdini fan. Right on. So at the live show, he does the upside down uh, oh, stray awesome. jacket. The stray jacket, oh, yeah. yeah. Starts spinning and... Then when he falls, they cut the lights out for a minute. You know, you, you guys know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. If you don't yeah. get to the show, yeah. but it, it's it's awesome. Sure. It's one of those moments where, you know, you don't you're worried for him. You don't know if he's gonna get out. So it, it's a great trick, and it you know pays homage to Houdini. So I, I really enjoy that. And that's one of the really cool things about working with Chris and the team is, this truly is meshing different genres of entertainment, sporting events. You're a basketball player, you love magic. You're a rapper, you love magic. We do magic, we love what you guys do. And the fact that we're all on the same page, that's a pretty, pretty incredible thing, I have to say. Yeah, I, I really ca I can't think of anything like what we, we've done today. And I'm not talking necessarily about the technology and the internet and the streaming. I do really like the f interaction on Twitter and in chat rooms, and that's something that's definitely, definitely, we are pioneers. Uh, but just pulling together entertainers like yourself, huge celebrities with everyday people, you know, like, like us, for example. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyday people like you, Brian. You're the only everyday anytime person. That that you know. put, <laughs> anytime that you put live TV, quote, unquote, on the air, and by the way, this was live 100%. Still is live. ever want to hear anybody say that this is all set up and we did this uh, privately. I got the sweat to show it. And the, and the, t and the two gals that worked, b did That's I get right. their clothes off or did I get their clothes off? This was live TV, and this is, and this is the best part. Absolutely. Yo, Absolutely. And I just want to say, I just want to say, too, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when it comes down to magic, yeah, that's right. Magic ain't only in these theaters out here. In Las Vegas, magic is also on the basketball court. Because on the basketball court, <laughs> that's where magic happens. Y'all got to remember that, too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For real. Oh, yeah. What's up with the Rockets? Well, are we going to get in the playoffs this year? Something. I hope so. God, but, I hope so. <laughs> but let me tell you something. No matter if you're a basketball player, no matter if you're a movie star, no matter whatever walk of life, that you come from, you know, everybody loves magic, man. You know what I'm saying? And when, I mean, you know, even though I do rap music, you guys do magic. But can I tell you something? It's you guys, too, that inspire us to write the way that we write because it's magic. You know what I'm saying? So just to let you guys know, yes, y'all are very, very inspiring to the rap music world. Y'all just don't know it. Ha! The rap music world is live. Is live. It's yeah, live. It's the feeling of live, it and that's what live. magic is. is that's live, what sports live. are live. I'm live. And, I'm and telling that's the reason why live. all of this is live. And this is what's that's making right. this happen right now. You know, I'm sorry, Phil. I'm no, sorry. It's okay, my brother. That's, that's right. Okay. But it's really live, and that's right. If we ain't on on your website right now, on your TV set, see your TV set and your website ain't even on. Wow, well, there you like go. Real sweat, man. <laughs> Thanks to no, Flavor Flav and Omar. You did a great job yeah. today. What an honor. You guys were awesome. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having us, and thanks awesome, for everything for everybody yeah, at home. Great, really buddy. appreciate it. I, I, I'm still laughing about shit you said two months ago, brother. <laughs> Seriously, my man. Seriously. Always good to see you, man. Thank you. Omar, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm kicking uh, right, Omar's you, ass brother. in hoops in about 30 brother seconds. Brother from another right. mother. Stay tuned. We're not all leaving. We're just getting up and saying goodbye. I don't have to leave. You're welcome to stay. Absolutely. Grab a seat. Oh, Flav, you forgot your keys. <laughs> all right. So the show's not over, guys. Don't go anywhere. We're just bringing in, uh, trying to cycle a few keys, of our brother. guests from this evening. We've had a lot of great people. I think I'm and, not going to uh, give We're you not this. done yet. We're oh, not done this? yet. So hang in there. Uh, uh, but you need also, this? guys, you know, uh, wherever you're watching, all get right. on your Facebook and Twitter. It's all you your friends for are hanging out with us. On the next show, we're doing a recap. Uh, who knows what type of uh, different celebrities and other people we might be chatting with and interviewing. So all right, good luck to you, brother. I'll see, you, I'll see you next time, man. It's been a, a lot of fun. That orange hydration program going for him. <laughs> he does also Two wear clothes at Match Gator. Sat down and shrunk. Awesome, I sat down and shrunk and got that wet. Awesome. <laughs> You're probably going to catch a buzz from no, today. No, no, no. going to get a major the buzz. The end. best is that Flavor oh, Flav comes here and he gets so emotional at these things. Indeed. Flavor Flav has left the building. Yeah. Oh, One of our favorite guys. So we can't wait to have him back. He took all the white we women with him. Guy. You know, I did want to bring in Sonny. 
who flew here 18 hours oh my God. on planes from Germany to get a tattoo, and who was one of the biggest loyals that I've ever met Absolutely. as long as I've worked here. Literally, one of, the, one of the tallest loyals I've ever met. Yeah, that too. Yeah, and yeah. we should also probably bring in Sean Fields, the master magician, Sean two products Fields. talked about today. Come on. I want to get chocolate with What's the word of the day? Sit over here so Meh. that's right. <laughs> You got a tattoo, you got to meet your boy Chris Angel. I mean, this is, has to be one of the best days of your life, no? This loyal dream come true, really. <laughs> and now, I bet you there's a lot of loyals watching out there that are pretty jealous of you right now. But, you know, you didn't just come here and not live up to your end of the bargain. She really did get meh wow, that's tattooed. Incredible. Did you guys get a picture together already? We, we will do it after the show. I haven't, I haven't, it's been nonstop, bro. <laughs> it literally non-stop. has been nonstop. Yeah. Uh, six ages, not five. No, six. You got an the extra right one. Way. You did that's it the, the right way. way. That is the hashtag. It nice. has six H's. That's right. We discussed that. Did we not do Clancy? Yes, we did. Man. Or is it Luke Dancy still? It's this Luke. Luke, Luke until the we get some go drinks over no, here. Wait, so wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. She was behind <laughs> us at the table where, uh, where I was doing the strip poker. All I could hear is <laughs> I've not had a tat, but I'll tell you what. It reminded me of having my fillings done, and it scared the hell out of me here back there. <laughs> Yeah, I was great. thinking about something that, else. What about you, Steve? Yeah, the last time I was buzzing behind like that, <laughs> I knew I wasn't needed. Last time the girl was buzzing behind me, I don't know, but it worked I out. I have a buzz. <laughs> That's funny. So you had fun, right? Yeah, it was great. You want, you want to give some shout-outs? You're live. You're with Luke, Mr. May himself. Man. You want to you tell how big, some big hellos, some, some goodbyes, anything? Yeah, a big thank you to Chris Angel, of course, and the chat master, Brian. And, of course, Luke and Duke. The two personalities. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, for you. What about the guy that chose you as the winner to come here Duh. today? Mr. Stu Stone. Yeah. Mr. Stu Stone. <laughs> Stu hey, it's been Stone. great. Give a round of applause, everybody. Yeah, yeah she's great. Hey, Nice, nice. Thanks for I have to stand up to hug her while she's sitting down. You know, and, and if she's giving shout outs, I just want you to do a couple more if you don't mind. Who are some of the biggest loyals out there that are sharing every loyal chat we do, every live wire, every live program oh, that we do on Facebook, Twitter, etc.? Definitely loyal loans, Eddie, too. My rock twin, baby. This one's for you. And she just left Vegas, right? She yeah. saw the show yeah. and hung uh, out with She had to leave yesterday. So gotcha. We didn't meet here. Have, have, her, have, her, have her do that in German. Auf Deutsch. The whole sentence? Yeah. The whole sentence. <laughs> I always get a little nervous around this. I like it when Stu I get, I get nervous German. when Germans have to translate English. This is what really. <laughs> also, der Gruß geht an Alona, meine beste Freundin, Rock Twin, Rock Zwilling, from Australia. And that was fucking English again. I'm sorry. She yeah, learned a couple of English. I don't know about you, but I'm getting she got wood. The down because <laughs> she's only had about five lines, and it always has the F word in it. As a matter of fact, based on that, why don't we bring. Her friend, and who is also a loyal, she may help us out a little bit without yeah. the effort. Uh, hello. Sean Fields is pulling the best. What do you? Oh, you're di- oh, you're pulling the disappearing act right now. You'll be back. You'll be back. And everybody, please, she right now, if you up. haven't done so already, go to Twitter and follow at Chris Angel. It's very important because Chris is constantly what? tweeting about you know oh, guests, yeah. the contests, the the live shows. That's where you get the information that you need. And if you go right now and follow Chris Angel, um, I think you'll you'll be in a good position to to stay abreast of everything that's going on. So your name is Jessica, Chica Jezebel. Chica Jezebel. Chica Jez. Okay, and how did you end up here? Her, she invited me as a guest. Yes, she did. What'd you think? I am just awestruck yeah. of the production here. Your own little utopia is awesome. That's great. Dedication to magic. I definitely have been bitten. <laughs> You just, I don't know. I can't even speak. And I'm one that has. That's what happens a lot. I believe that. I can see (laughs) you're kind of stuttering a little bit, so we'll just go somewhere else with this. Let me interpret. I know this is long and black, but just speak into the end of it, right? (laughs) (laughs) This guy's got jokes. Singer! Here we go. Now I feel like Mateo's here or something, right? I'm talking about elephants. No, it was good. So she says. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, we had a little bit of everything today. We had jello wrestling. We had strip poker. What about we had jello magic. wrestling? What? That was the most amazing thing I've seen. That woman was, was, was an Amazon. She, she, she made you look small in comparison. <laughs> she was a beast. <laughs> you know, and it's funny because I, I don't know that I've ever been around Mateo without him being half naked and getting beat up by somebody. This is very true, Brian. I mean, seriously. I, I feel know, the same way, yeah. Flying through rooms and being thrown around and punched around. And I mean, I see why he's kind of like a little mini buff guy. 
because he has to be. To uh, you know, that was all drawn on. All those muscles were all drawn on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. And you know, he left with that girl. You know that, right? Which girl? The one, the, 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 the genocide, the Jello wrestling gem. He left with God her. God knows what's going on now. Wow. He did. Wow. I'm, I'm not. I, I can't make that up. It's like riding home with Flavor Flav right now, Fielding. That wouldn't be a good uh, idea. Uh, drag my I mean, name into that one there, buddy. Okay. Right in there. I don't think I ride home with them. But, uh, all right, great. So, Luke, it looks like we're at uh, 7.30 here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got, I think we have a, a couple more, uh, 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 we have a, yeah, we have a couple more guests to come in. Great. Listen, uh, listen, I want to thank all of you. I'm going to jump out of here so another person can sit in this seat. I want to thank everybody that's watching. Chris you were Andrew awesome, right man. Now. Thank right, you I so much. I want to thank everybody, West. especially my host over here hey. who did the best. Yeah. Thanks, man. And all he would say to me, all he would say to me is, uh, just go with me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was amazing. Hey, I love you all. Thank hey, you. Man. Thank God bless you, man. Chris Angel. Hey, I want to come over here and shake your hand, man. It was an honor. You're a legend, man. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You did a great job. You got a great show. You got a great Let's give it up for Fielding West, guys. Come on. Fielding West. That guy's the man. I saw a lot more of him today than I ever thought I would. From one magical monster to the next, it looks like we have one of the biggest names in magic. He's hiding out behind the screen. I see Lance Burton. He Lance Burton. Like Come on in, Lance Burton. Lance Mr. Burton. Burton. Yeah. How are you, good sir? Yeah, it's so good to see Lance. Good to see you. Love the Vikings hat. I'm from Minnesota originally. Why don't we pass this mic nice. over here, if you don't mind? Nice. All right. So, now, Lance, what did you yeah. think about today, man? What did no, you think was, about today? That was a lot of fun. It was, I love it that Chris does these big parties, and uh, he invites everybody over, and, and uh, people can watch at home. and It's just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cool thing. I, I'm just imagining myself. You know, like 15 years old, back in, in uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, you know, being a, a kid, dreaming of being a magician and having something like this going on back then. I mean, that would, that would really mean a lot to me to be able to, to watch and, 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 and see, you know, guys that are in Las Vegas. A way to connect magic. with people you may not ever have a chance to connect with and watch live and, sure. and feel a true experience. It's an amazing thing. I definitely get chills every time we do it as well. And sitting next to you, well, two seats away, is surreal as well. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. This is just crazy that all this is happening. And uh, we're so proud to have you be part of it. And thank you for time and time again being part of what we do because oh. it does mean a lot. It really it does. Fun. And the last one was fun when we had the pool party. Oh, man, that was oh, so yeah. much fun. Hey, so when you see stuff like this and, uh, you know, magicplace.com and these live parties, you know, being a, a Hall of Fame magician like yourself, do you think that something like, you know, what's, what's your take on the future of magic and stuff like this? Well, who, you know, who knows? But, you know, I think this could be a, a big part of the future of magic. Twenty years from now, some great magician may come along and, and uh, he may be doing an interview on, on some show and they're going to say, hey, how'd you get started in magic? And he's going to say, well, I was... I was I was out in Iowa in this little town, and I was doing magic shows at birthday parties. And, and then I, I watched this show on the Internet, and there was Chris and Lance and Fielding and Tom Sony and all these guys. And that, that made me, that inspired me. It made me want to, to pursue magic as a career. So are you, you're not uh, doing any more performances? You're not going to be like Brett Favre and come back a couple no, times? No, no. Well, that's... that's <laughs> I see that. <laughs> you got to... Yeah, I have a... Uh, I was a... Uh, I, for years, I was a uh, Green Bay Packers fan, and then uh, we won't hold that against you. And then when uh, <laughs> when when Brett uh, left, and he went with the Jets, I, so I so I had a I had a number four Packers jersey and hat. And then when he left and he went to the Jets, I got a I got a number four Jets jersey and hat. And then when he went to the Vikings, <laughs> I got the jersey and hat. So uh, got the Wrangler jeans too. I, I fo yeah. So I. Fo <laughs> I followed I followed Brett wherever he went, and uh, now that he is actually retired, I've kind of gone back uh, to to rooting for the Packers again. Looks like we have a question from the chat from Jennifer Silva for Lance. Uh, what gave you the magic bug? Oh yeah, um, everybody everybody has a moment when they get started in magic. Mine happened at a very young age. I was five years old, and I was at a magic show. And the magician asked for a volunteer, and I was the kid that got picked to go on stage. Wow. And uh, he pulled silver dollars out from behind my ear, and I just—I know that trick. That was it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's one of your Spin four in your arsenal. Yeah. You know, you know, Lance Stu is actually an up-and-coming magician. He really ah, is. He really is, and he's an entertainer. You know, he's done some TV and some film and you know, stuff like that. So you know, he's he's kind of he's. I think I think personally, he's really good with just setting up the trick. You know, he's he's good telling the story and getting the audience to you know be really really interested in in what he's trying to do. His technique. 
Ninety percent of the battle yeah. is getting the audience interested, telling the story, setting it up, piquing their interest, getting them at that moment of anticipation. Then you'd be able to then you, but you've got to be able to close the deal. See, I'm not a, I'm not a closer. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. with the ladies, with magic, with anything. I'm just we're talking can, about your I hang out with you more often. But you can learn that. I can learn you that. You can learn that. It, you can teach that. What you can't teach is, is, uh, it, 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 it is the part you already have, which is that's that's something that's that I think is innate and and Stu does an amazing job with that I've noticed and that's one of the cool things about you as an entertainer that's the most important thing with magic it's not about the, the knuckle busting stuff it's about interacting and really uh, entertaining people entertaining people and you do an amazing job with that and that's why I want to know when people. when did you know you know from being the silver dollars behind your ear when did you know that you were great like you know was there a moment that happened where you're like okay I've, I've made it I'm great no, um, when, when I first, you know, I didn't know, I, I, I didn't know it was a trick at first. I thought the man had real magic powers. Don't they? And it, <laughs> took, it, took, it took some time, and then someone, someone explained to me that, that the guy didn't have real magic powers, that it was a skill that he had learned. And actually, I thought, well, that's good news, because if he has real magic powers, then, you know, I'm screwed, because I don't. <laughs> but if it's a skill, then it's something that you can study and learn. Well, let's bring in another guy that looks like he has magical powers. We're talking about Devlin. Bring it in, Devlin. Hey. Yeah, baby. The Devlin Dollar. The Devlin, the Devlin dollar. dollar. The premiere today. <laughs> Good to have you here, sir. Thanks. Good to see you, Devlin. Thank you. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. You did very well on the show today. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, and it's funny because it's, it's interesting. I don't know how many people in the audience know this, but live magic on stage is one thing. Live magic, close up, with cameras on the internet is scary and you know a lot of magicians will not do that and it's one of the nice things I, I like about what we're doing and it's one of the reasons I appreciate people like y yourself, Lance, Luke, Sean, the whole group, Chris, um, being so open and willing to perform and watch magic live on the internet. Uh, does that concern you at all or, or what you, do you Brian. think? Well when Chris asked me to perform it my first instinct was to say yes and afterwards I began to get a little nervous. Even though it's magic, uh, things do go wrong from time to time. It's Absolutely. live performance, but I'm accustomed to performing live for audiences, so it didn't concern me all that much. I know now ways to get out of it. As yeah. magicians, speaking of some, something going wrong, is there a story that you or Lance can share of so a time when something really did go horribly wrong? Oh, everything's gone wrong. Uh, I've, I've had birds jump in the audience, uh, doves, pigeons, ducks, geese. I uh, split my pants a couple of times. No, nah, that's the best. <laughs> uh, broke a bone in my foot during a show, wow. and finished wow. a show. And in, in fact, I, I have I have a, a plate and six screws in my foot to this no. day because because I finished the show. If wow. I, if I'd stopped at the beginning of the show when I broke the bone, I would have been okay. No wonder you like Favre. Oh. He would have done the same thing. But exactly. Yeah, exactly. he would have. Yeah. What would Brett Favre do? He'd pop a Remember couple of pills and keep it going. Remember the championship game? Yes, when, when he threw the interception, when, when he should have when, been yeah, yeah. spiking the ball. Yeah. Remember please the, remember please the, don't text the, me any pictures, the, Lance. Remember the uh, Vikings playing New Orleans? Yes. The NFC Championship game, 2009. The bounty that, game. And the penalty game, yeah. And there was a lot of late hits. A lot of late hits. A lot of hits below the knee, too. But he didn't complain. He no. never complained once. He kept, well, he kept actually, playing. Good I didn't know you were a sports fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that right? Yeah. What about you? Anything? I know, no sports. Well, before we even go there, we actually have another great magician who I'd like to bring on the set. Um, we're getting a little tight on time. What, what we're trying to do to the audience is we would like to save the entire program and do an encore broadcast in about 45 minutes so you can watch the entire thing again, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, tell all your friends about it. And for us to do that, we, we really have a limited amount of time. So we only have about five to, to six minutes more before we end the show. So I would like to bring on Mr. Andrew Maine, if that's okay. Yeah. yeah. And since we have limited <laughs> mics, why don't we do this? Sure. Um, Thank you, Mr. Burden. I'm actually going to step off set because I have to work on a technical issue, so I'm going to hand it over to Luke and Stu. I will leave my... my there you go. Stu, why don't you come on in the Thank middle? You. Yeah. Oh, here, just move over. He'll get him on. We can do that. Well, Andrew Maine. Andrew you want to tell Maine everybody how you ended up here, Andrew? Uh, a guy walked me... No. Uh, <laughs> dark room. That's not what I meant. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I, like, how'd you end up here today? I mean, was this this is something crazy? You, oh, this was yeah. This was uh, this was mind blowing. Um, it was a, a a it was a spectacle. Um, 
Chris asked me out when it's, you know, I was going to be out on the West Coast, wondering if I wanted to come by, and I said sure, and had no idea what I was going to see, and it was it was quite a heck of a show here. I mean, it was just. Have you, you know, ever seen anything like this? Oh, have I ever seen, you know, Johnny Thompson hanging out with Flavo Flav? Oh, yeah, all the time, <laughs> of course. That was you incredible, know? right? Oh, yeah. oh, it was incredible. It was awesome. I took photos of that because I'm like, this is like, I'm like, am I high? You know? This is like, I, like, I was like, like is this real taste. life? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Uh, this has been incredible. And Andrew, of course, if you don't know, iTricks.com. I'll say it again, iTricks.com. It's the source for magic news. We're a big supporter of what they do. And he's just as handsome in person. This is true. <laughs> yes, this is true. Yeah, very true. I can't believe that me being a, a little rookie, a little schmendrick like myself, I get to sit with legends like you guys. This is really a really cool experience, honestly. Yeah, why are you here? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And oh. don't forget, we're yeah. going to be doing this every month. That's yeah. the crazy part. It's not just today. This isn't just a one-time thing. We're going to do this every single month for all the new releases at MagicPlace.com. So it's not just a one-off thing. We're here for the long run. Are the fantasy girls going to be here yes. every month? God, yeah. I hope so. That's what we got to do to get you here, Lance. Yeah. The Jello wrestling. Can I just yeah. say what I, I, I want to do? I want uh, pudding wrestling. Luke did like Luke. You did it. Pudding. You're a great job as an MC, man. Like, thank you. Thank you like, a lot. I mean, if, a lot. if your you. hands get broken, I think you have a great career ahead of you. I really do. Well, thank so, you very I much. Mean, it's a lot of hard work, and it it, it means yeah. a lot coming from you, man. I respect. You're pretty good too. You should think about a career in this. Thanks. Yeah. For real? No. No. Oh, man. Uh, of course, the next Loyal Saturday is coming up in two weeks' time. There's going to be uh, a whole new show, a Genital whole new piercing. live experience. <laughs> say what? Don't, say, don't give away all the secrets, man. What are you doing? Uh, there's going to be also uh, uh, a, brand, a brand new show that uh, I'm going to be hosting. I mean, if you guys want to be a part of it, I'm, I'm extending this invitation. I will get some girls here for you, Lance, if, if that's what hey, needs to happen. Hey, Lance doesn't need any help, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy who doesn't have his face on a marquee, all right? That's true. All that's right. a good point. Yeah, I mean, let's give. I mean, tell us a little bit more about success. I mean, I know you, you keep teasing a little bit, but like, what's what's the deal with that? Uh, basically, people are going to be coming from all around the country, all around the world. They're going to get uh, some time on the stage to uh, perform their oh, wow. skill, their magic. Maybe they're a singer, maybe they're a dancer, maybe they have three breasts. I'm not sure. Nice. Whatever their special skill or talent is, they're going to get to showcase it for the world. Hopefully, guys like you know you guys and and. Uh, Maybe Flava Flav. Uh, we're going to have some great <laughs> judges there. We're going to pick a winner. At the end of the season, somebody's going to win a chance to be the opening act for Chris wow. at the Luxor. That's awesome. Wow. That yeah, is, very I mean, cool. Uh, opportunity to awesome. get a Vegas show. That is fantastic. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's cool. So, yeah, I mean, not only are we doing the magic stuff, we're also branching out into other avenues. And uh, this is only just the beginning. This is truly only just the beginning. And uh, Unfortunately, this is also the end. <laughs> yeah. We are getting down to the last few minutes here because we do want to have the encore presentation. And, uh, of course, we are waiting for our friend Kristen. I believe we have Kristen Lambert coming up very, very soon, too. She is on her way right now. So Kristen Lambert, one of the most beautiful women in magic, is on the way to the table right now, too. Is she coming in right now? We're not, we, we, can't, we, we can't leave without talking to her. No. Where's she at? She's actually, up, she's actually upstairs shooting an episode of The Buzz she at the with bar? Nathan Burton right now. She's stopping by the bar, and then she's going to come here to see you. And Kristen was in Make Believe. Yeah, tell us more about Make Believe. Yeah, uh, yeah. uh, if you haven't seen the documentary, now what is the... Uh, what is the, uh, the, the service? Where Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix, right, right. It, it's now available on Netflix. So uh, if you haven't seen Make Believe, you can see it on Netflix. And it's a really cool documentary uh, that follows six young magicians around as they compete uh, for the title of Best Teen Magician. And here's here's here she is. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah. Stars of Make Believe right now, Kristen Lambert's here. Awesome. Thanks awesome. for having me. Tell you us about Make Believe. I had a blast. I, like I said, I totally lost my voice. From screaming so much, but it's all worth it. <laughs> Had a blast. Tell, tell us about Make Believe. Yeah. Well, Make Believe, I think Lance probably just said, but it is streaming on Netflix now, so you can watch it wherever you are, which is exciting. And it follows six of us as we went through World Magic Seminar and all of the toil and tears and triumph and other things that start with T. And it was a great experience for me, and I, I learned a lot doing it. And we've had so much fun, you know, going around and promoting it and. Spent a week in New York when they had the theatrical pr premiere there, and then a week in Los Angeles. And uh, we went to a lot of film festivals and all kinds of presentations for it. it, it it's been it's been great. Now it's on Netflix, so uh, a lot of congratulations on that, by the way. Yeah. Huge. I, That's I really was cool. Airlines in New York. That's yeah. and uh, what a great film. I really enjoyed it. Thank it's you very much. I think it, it's got a lot of really great aspects and. Do you see a lot about magic that you wouldn't necessarily know otherwise? Because, of course, with magic, the art is to hide the art. And I think, so, you know, you, you don't know how much time people are spending in their bathrooms practicing magic slights. 
And so it really gives a good insight into the fact that this is a very serious, this is a very serious hobby or, or you know, profession that we're in. And it's, very, it's a very interesting film for those of us who are into magic, but also I've talked to people who don't know anything about magic or really care anything that much about magic and are s still love the film because it's really a, a, a human story. I, yeah, absolutely. A, and a coming of age and story. Um, because and just doing what you love and, exactly. and staying true to yourself. I think that's the main message and, and just diving for your dreams. And I think even now, I mean, that was filmed my senior year of high school and now I'm a senior in college and I've changed a lot obviously but I still support it so wholeheartedly because of this this message of just you know whatever you're interested in just go for it. Now, is, your, is your career choice more going towards magic? I know you're doing a lot of other things do you want to do the magic, or you, do you want to do acting and be an actress and do you know magic, other things? Magic is my, is, my, is my love. It's my passion, and it's my life. And so I'm, I'm in school now. I'm so lucky to be able to, to be in school and also do as much magic as I do. And like I said, I graduate in a year, and, and then it's all magic. And it's Hollywood's wonderful. calling your name, though. Come Tell on. them what your, your degree is going to be in. I'm a philosophy major, philosophy at, major. at UCLA. Yes. UCLA. That's like that's like way too smart for the room. You know that, okay? <laughs> I, I just want to ask a question. Is it, is it difficult? Here, okay? Is it different, uh, you know, being a, you know, a good-looking, attractive woman in magic? Do you get hit on by all these guys? Is it tough to be? Is it, do, you, do you have to work extra hard with, with the magic stuff? There are a lot of questions there. Um, <laughs> I definitely think that growing up in magic, my, we were just talking about this, my concept of what's weird or awkward or creepy is definitely really warped. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but... Um, but you know, it definitely it definitely has its advantages, and it definitely can be harder in a lot of ways. I think it definitely took longer for me to for, to be more taken seriously. People weren't sure if I was just some pretty girl who could dance and maybe do a trick or two. But I think that over time, I mean, as I've said, magic is my love, and I think that that's. I mean, I'm not I'm not giving up, and I'm not letting go. So. Awesome. Well, unfortunately, we have to start letting go here. We're going to run that encore presentation. So, guys, don't forget Saturday, July 28th. We are doing the next Loyal Saturday. And of course, Stu Stone will be here yes. along with me and Brian and the rest of the gang. So uh, that about wraps it up for today. Hey, I wanted to give a, a shout-out real quick to uh, the, uh, cable guy Jeff Clarence, Obama, Walt Walters, all the Sunday Night Stu viewers that joined Absolutely. us, and all the people that watched, all the Loyals all around the world, all of the, uh, the fans of Magic, people who love Magic. Chris Angel loves Magic. He definitely loves you. And all of these guys here, legends, legends in the making. Uh, it's been an honor to be here with all of you guys, honestly. It's always great to see you, Stu. We can't wait to work with you again. Lance, of course, we hope to see much, much more of you because you're one of our favorite people. Thank you. And That's Andrew, right. don't be a stranger, all right? Don't be a stranger. Stranger to start with, so. All right. And thank you, Devlin, for coming all the way from New York to be here for the premiere of the Devlin Dollar. We love it. And uh, hey, what do you guys say? We go hit the uh, strip. Drinks are on Lance. All right. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's do it. Good night, <laughs> right, everybody. We'll catch you Enjoy next the time. encore. It's coming up next. Be a ham.